Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian, and welcome back to a brand new video on Source Code channel. This is episode 10 of the FuGS tutorial series, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the route in Vue.js. So let's just get right into it. So to get started, we want to type Vue in it webpack as usual to create a project and we want to do it in the current directory all this stuff use view router use slint use the airbnb one no unit test no end to end and use npm so i will get back to you when it's done downloading all right so we finished downloading the files so now we can run npm run dev and then it will create a server for us, which we can view and we can start working on this. So to get started, I'm going to remove um, everything that's inside of here and inside of here. And I'm going to delete that. And in router, we want to remove this component and we can comment this out for now. So for this video, I want to create a search bar where we can enter stuff and it will display what we search for on uh, the page. And when we enter something, it should change the URL. So we can share the URL without having to click any buttons or stuff. So what we want to do is we want to say input and we want to make it a type of search give it a placeholder of search and we are going to model it v model with search which is going to be a property so we're going to say data make it a function and then declare search so we need to comment out these final parts to not get an error and when we do that, we can see that we have a functioning search bar. It will display and we can enter stuff inside of here. What we want to do is when search changes, we want to change the route that we're on. So we can say watch and watch is a way of watching a variable for it to change and then we make a function with the name of the variable we want to watch. So in this case, we want to watch search. So we name it search. And then the first parameter that we get is the new value, which in this case is the query that we want. And then the second one would be the old value, but we don't need it. So we say search, and then we can just console.log q. And then we go to the browser, we can type something in and we can say that we can see that whatever we input will display inside of here. But something that is a bit annoying is that when we add spaces, it will display in front of it. So we don't want these spaces. So we want to trim out the spaces that come before and after the contents. So in this case, we just wanted to have this section. So we can do that by saying dot trim on this string, but that's not really what we want. You can see that it works, but it's not really the way that view likes to do it. So what we can do instead is we can say dot trim after our V model. And this is the documentation for it. It's a uh, modifier, which you can put on V model. And you have a bunch of these things, so number and lazy. And in this case, it trims whatever it models. This will function the same. And we can see that whatever we input, it will display. And what's actually really cool is with the previous one, it will fire for everything that we change with spaces. So that would all fire, but now it doesn't. So now we want to create a component for search. 
and this component will just display some simple information. So let me remove all of this stuff that we don't need. And I'm just going to make a diff and display it like that. And then inside of our router index.js, we want to put the search component. So say import search from at slash components slash search. And then we can put search right here, give it a name of search and a path of slash search. And this won't do anything yet, but we will get to it. And then underneath here, we can say router view, which will display whatever the current route is. So now what we want to do is we want to change the, uh, the URL that we're on to slash search slash or question mark Q equals whatever. And we can actually easily do this using view router. So what we're going to use is router.push. And we can see a couple of examples right here. And the one we want to use is with query. And the example shows router.push path register and query plan private. And that ends up being register question mark plan equals private. And in our case, query, uh, we will just have a queue, queue for the search. And to do that, we can say this dot router, which is the router object, then say dot push, and then give an object. And in the example, you can see they use path, but we can just use name, which is search in this case. So we give it name search and a query, which is Q. And we don't need to do this. We can just keep it as Q. It's shorter. So this pushes the new route and it changes to search with a query of Q. So when we go to our site and we enter something right here, you can see that in the URL, we can see that we have search question mark Q equals and then whatever we input, whatever. But it doesn't display anything on the screen yet. So to get that working inside the search, we can add a little thing to display the query that we're on. So to do that, we say this dot dollar route, and we can access the query that we're on. And when we do that, we can see Q equals whatever. And then to get Q, we can say dot Q, and we can see it will display whatever we input right here. So now that we have that link, we can post it anywhere and we can see right away we are on the correct page that we wanted to be on. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode.